What's up guys, Retro Gamer Steve back with another video. And tonight's video is a collections video. I'm going to be showing you guys my DS games collection. So I hope you enjoy. And without any further ado guys, let's check out what games I have in my DS library. All right guys, so I'm gonna go through these pretty quickly as to not make an extremely long video. Um, I might talk about a specific game or two uh, for just a moment um, and then I'm not gonna do these in any specific order so starting off we have Hello Kitty Party Star Wars Lego The Complete Saga Star Wars The Force Unleashed. This is a great game. Star Wars Lethal Alliance. Can you sense a theme here other than Hello Kitty? Star Wars The Clone Wars Jedi Alliance. Mario Kart. Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Winter Games. Alright. So, get that to focus there. All right, then we've got Lego Marvel Super Heroes, Universal in Peril. Mario Party DS. Transformers Revenge of the Fallen. This is the Decepticons version. And Super Mario 64 DS. This is a great game. All right, then we have uh, Bakugan Battle Brawlers. And I have a sealed Bakugan. And we have Balls of Fury, which is basically nothing to do with the movie other than just a couple of the characters, um, but it's just a tabletop game. But I like games like that. Uh, ben 10, Cosmic Destruction. A lot of those Ben 10 games are actually really fun on a multitude of systems, so... Uh, Actually, check those games out, guys. Um, they're usually really cheap and pretty good, even if you're not a fan of the show or have never seen it. Uh, Nintendogs, Chihuahua and Friends. Polarium. This is a puzzle game. Top Gun. Phineas and Ferb, right again. And Theme Park. These games are always fun. Then you've got How to Train Your Dragon. Battle of Giants, Dinosaurs. This is actually a pretty cool game. Sonic Sega All-Stars Racing. Another fun game. Definitely worth playing on the DS. Sonic Rush. Lego Pirates of the Caribbean. I Spy Castle. 
uh, SpongeBob creature from the Krusty Krab. This is one of uh, only two games I have that is in one of these crap cases. I am actively looking to uh, get a case for that game. And here is the other Crash of the Titans. Littlest Pet Shop 3, Biggest Stars. Scribble Knots, Spider-Man Shattered Dimensions. This is a really cool game. Uh, you actually play as three different Spider-Man characters. Um, you've got the regular Spider-Man, you've got Noir Spider-Man, and then 2099. Um, and then in the game, you actually travel back and forth to the different times. Um, really cool game. A lot of fun. I really enjoyed this one. I Spy Universe. These games aren't bad actually and they're great time wasters. Um, really cheap. If you've never played one, I recommend them if you find them for uh, a really cheap price. New Super Mario Brothers. Uh, this is Sturmovic, Birds of Prey. This is a sealed copy. Jewel Quest Expeditions. M&M's Kart Racing. M&M's Break'em. This is a puzzle game, much like Tetris. Alex Ryder Stormbreaker Lego Indiana Jones 2 Indiana Jones and the Staff of Kings this is another game uh, you can still get this really cheap and I really had a fun time playing this game uh, the music is great and uh, just a lot of fun I am a huge Indiana Jones fan, so if you're an indie fan, you have a DS, um, and you can get this game for 10 bucks or so, uh, maybe even 15 Pick this up. It's a, it's a good time. Mario Hoops 3-on-3. Three three. This, uh, this is another game that's uh, actually really fun. A sealed copy of Jeopardy. Rest in peace, Alex. Nintendo Dogs Lab and Friends. Cooking Mama 3, Shop and Chop. Harry Potter Lego, years 5 to 7. Iron Man 2. Journey to the Center of the Earth. This is a fantastic movie, in my opinion. I loved it. I have it in 3D, and um, I have not played this yet, but it looks fun enough, and I got this for like two or three bucks. Toy Story 3. Professor Layton and the Diabolical Box. Uh, the Professor Layton games are always great. And then Professor Layton and the Curious Village. And then we have Harry Potter Lego years one through four. I don't have eight and nine, I think it is. Yeah, don't have eight and nine. Oh well, uh, Bakugan, Battle Trainer, Zuma's Revenge, 
Uh, this one's pretty cool. It's got a slip cover, which a lot of DS games did not have. Uh, except the back's got a little part torn off there. But this is um, a puzzle game. TMNT. I thought this game was okay. 007 Quantum of Solace. Power Rangers Super Legends 15th Anniversary. This is a pretty cool game actually. I had a good time playing this one. Then we have a sealed copy of Brain Age. Because, you know. And just to one-up that, I got a sealed copy of Brain Age 2. Because, you know. You know. Um, Moon. This is a fantastic FPS. Uh, definitely starting to climb up in price. This game's around $100 complete in box now. But if you happen to find one for less than that, and you are looking for a good science fiction FPS for the DS, pick this game up. It is awesome. Um, do yourselves a favor, pause that, and check the back of that out. Read it all. Great FPS. Pokemon Diamond. Pokemon Soul Silver. Believe it or not, when I first started collecting, I bought um, a lot of games off of somebody. I think there were 27 games that I purchased off of them. And I uh, forgot what the exact total was, but I ended up paying what came out to 5 bucks a game. And this game was one of them, and it is complete in this. It's not the outer box, but I do have this complete and the Pokewalker. And this game was uh, was in there for five bucks. So I got each of these for five bucks a piece, and they're both complete. Then we've got Diddy Kong Racing DS. Um, the 64 version of this game is one of my favorite kart racing games of all time. And this game is really, really fun on the DS. Uh, follows right in the footsteps of the original Diddy Kong fantastic pick this up if you don't have it then i have a sealed copy of grand theft auto chinatown wars then we have fossil fighters and fossil fighters champions these games are both climbing up in price uh, especially Champions, and then I also have uh, Fossil Fighters Frontier, but that's for the 3DS. Um, these games are really cool. You actually go around digging up fossils, then you clean your fossils, and then you build your dinosaurs with the different fossils that you collect. You can upgrade the bones and everything else as you continue to dig, and then you fight the dinosaurs that you dig up and clean and create uh, and then as you take your uh, dinosaur around fighting them you continue to dig and then um, because you can actually while you're cleaning the bones do damage to them and you can find better bones clean them without doing damage upgrade uh, specific areas of your dinosaur really really cool game uh, check these games out if you've never played them before Then I have a sealed copy of Okami Den. Really, really pretty game for the DS. This is the sequel to Okami. Metroid Prime Pinball, fantastic game. I did a video on this uh, a couple of months ago. Uh, if you have not seen this game, go check that out. Absolutely fantastic pinball, pinball game and a great um, Metroid game. 
Pokemon Rangers Guardian signs. Mario and Luigi Partners in Time. Mario and Luigi Bowser's Inside Story. I have a sealed copy of Professor Layton and the Diabolical Box. Um, a few of these sealed games I actually got basically for free and a lot that I bought from a buddy of mine. Um, these were just some extra things thrown in and I already had the open versions, um, but I got a sealed version of this in there and that was pretty cool because like I said, those games are great. Then we have Castlevania Dawn of Sorrow. Castlevania Portrait of Ruin. You guys can pause this at any time. And then of course the best of the bunch Castlevania Order of Ecclesia or Ecclesia. This is definitely the best of these three Castlevania games and just uh, a fantastic game. But obviously, I love Castlevania. Um, really happy to have all three of those. Then you've got 999, Nine Hours, Nine Persons, Nine Doors. This game is the sequel to. Um, Virtue's Last Reward, or Virtue's Last Reward is the sequel to this. Um, I believe this is the first one, then Virtue's Last Reward, and then Zero Time Dilemma are all three games in the trilogy. Um, this is a fantastic game. If you've never checked this game out before, pause this, read the back of this, go check out, go check out some gameplay of this basically a, a visual novel played out um, nine people locked in a room each with a watch around their hand with a different number and you have to figure out how to get out of these different rooms and escape and you actually play each of the different characters throughout the game um, really 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 cool game check that out then we have Zelda, The Phantom Hourglass. I really, really enjoyed this game. And then, Zelda Spirit Tracks. I have not played this one yet. Uh, I really enjoyed Phantom Hourglass, and I will play this at some point. Uh, I've just got a lot of other things that I am currently playing. Then I have Contra 4, which is a fantastic Contra game for the DS. If you guys have not played this game and you're a, a Contra fan, 8-bit, I'm talking to you. If you don't have this man, do yourself a favor and go pick this game up. It is definitely probably the best Contra handheld game out there. Um, Way Forward did this, which is the same company that did um, the Shantae games and a bunch of other great games, but uh, really happy to have Contra 4. And then the last couple I have, um, Aliens Infestation, again made by Way Forward, and I just actually beat this game today. I got this a week ago. I've been playing this for about the last three or four days, and I had just an awesome time playing this game. It is fantastic. I loved, absolutely loved playing this. Um, really, really, really great game. This is uh, on the rare side. This came out uh, seven weeks after the 3DS came out, so um, 2011 um, for the DS. That was really late. And so there's not a lot of copies of this game out there, but if this game looks interesting to you, um, pick this up now because I have a feeling this game is going to go up in price.
And because I have a feeling that game is going to go up in price, I also got a sealed copy. And this copy is in pristine shape. Um, this one is in really nice shape as well, and it is all complete, except for a little ding on the front there. But um, not a big deal on that copy as far as I'm concerned, because this uh, is a sealed pristine copy and really happy to have this game in this condition. And then the last game that I have for the DS, unfortunately, is loose, and I am looking for a case and manual to complete it, and that is Fire Emblem Shadow Dragon. So as of right now, that is my DS collection, guys. Alright guys, well I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, and you're not yet a subscriber to my channel guys, think about hitting that subscribe button for me and give me a big thumbs up. That really helps small channels like mine grow and gain traction. And if you enjoy content like this, make sure you go check out my Instagram page as well. That's also Steve Craig Retro Games. And then of course you can come back and check out my videos I put out every Monday, every Friday, every other Wednesday, and then I do drop a random video here or there. So. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this collection video. Let me do, uh, let me know down in the description below um, some of the games you think I need to add to my collection or let me know what games I have that you guys think are awesome. So um, until next time, guys, have a great weekend. Take care of yourselves out there and keep gaming.